Hello, very good morning. Uh, first of all, thanks a lot to Julien to inviting me to this uh, very interesting formative assessment uh, webinar. It's a great opportunity for us to share our project, uh, Planned Irrigation, uh, related with Industry 4.0 and Vocational Education. So for us, it's really, really a good uh, opportunity to, to share this experience. So now I'm going to, to show you my, our presentation, okay? I'm going to share the screen. Okay, so uh, I'm going to talk about uh, this project uh, that it is in, in the in Erasmus Plus project, uh, case 20. Um, we, this is the index of what, what I'm going to talk about in this uh, presentation. We are going to talk very fast about the project, who we are, our pet school, this project, how we work in a collaborative way with the students, also, we, we are going to talk about the methodology we used for learning, teaching, and also related with the formative assessment. Uh, we, we have a small testimony of one of our students. And at the end, I'm going to tell you uh, what this project uh, get in our school, because we are now working in, in new projects and we are using what we learned in this uh, project. So as I told you, we are, this is, this plant irrigation project is in, within the BET 40 project, it's Erasmus Plus K20. Uh, these are the, the partners coordinated also by a con EU agency. Who we are? We are uh, EAS Campanillas, and we are a BET school. We are bilingual and BET dual system. We have those specia these specialities, the telecommunication, uh, IT, software development, some of them. And we are located uh, at a very big uh, technology park in Andalusia, where we are surrounded by around uh, 600 IT companies, um, where are 2,000 workers, mostly all of them in the IT world. So we are very lucky because mostly of, of all of our students get a job after finishing the, the studies. Okay, this project, Plant Irrigation, he, it was a great opportunity for us uh, in this Erasmus Plus project because we, we could uh, work in lots of different specialties uh, with teachers, uh, different teachers of different classes and different students. So it also was a real project that we, we implemented at our school in the, in the classroom of handicapped students. We could put this uh, garden app because it's a garden app that, who is managed, that is managed by by web and mobile, and uh, it's a great. It, it, they they get data cons constantly, so the students can can irrigate the plants, can see the humidity, can see the te temperature, and can take a lot of data. They, what the students have learned with this project, and also teachers, are a lot of uh, industry 4.0 skills like Internet of Things. As we use a lot of sensor that take data and uploaded it to the cloud computing to the cloud database. We also use some 3D printing devices for the camera for, and for other uh, things. We also use six, uh, three, 360 camera to, to use our virtual reality glasses to see the garden at real time. And also we implemented a layer of security and network as it is outside the school with the Wi-Fi and we wanted that it was secure. Here is a picture of the students working in the electronic and software development team. Other students of the school were preparing the garden and here one student handicap was looking and helping also in the installation. Okay, about collaborative tools, we have worked with uh, several collaborative tools like GitHub, uh, Google Drive, Bitkraken, Visual Studio Code and Trello. Um, they were related with our main communicate uh, tool called Slack with boots, automatically boots. Uh, we, it was notified every change in every of these tools. GitHub is where our students upload the code so we can see every time, every moment, what students are doing in our project. Uh, also with Trello, it, it's connected with GitHub and with, with Slack. So at every time, every moment, we teachers can see the, the real state of the project and it's very, very helpful. This uh, scheme of tools, is not something new we invented. It's the, the scheme that it is used in mostly in most of the IT companies. So we are also using what 
they use in the IT companies in, after studies. This uh, way of working was very useful at this coronavirus lockdown. So because we, we, we continue using this way and it's very helpful. With this project, we, we, we work in project-based learning methodology. So we can, um, the communication between students and teachers were very, very fluent. Uh, we encourage a student to, to, to have initiative, to add own features, because this is an open project and they can add some features. And, and this, this also encourage self-learning because they have to look and to, and to research how they do that. Uh, of course, we, with this initiative, it's also related with creati creativity as they, with this space, they, they create new solutions for future projects. Talking about formative assessment, the way we evaluate all these project uh, timeline in, in, the, in, the, in the life cycle life of the project, for example, in the, in, when, when, when they were uh, developing with code, they, they uploaded, as I told you, with GitHub. So every time we can see at any, any time uh, how many lines of code and um, what was the code that each student uploaded. And that was for us as a very, very powerful tool to, to our formative assessment. Also with the testing, we have results, document results. Also with the deployment, we have web server and APK file. So we, can, we could see who uploaded the, the final project with documentation, technical and user manual, we have all this information as formative assessment. And also at the end of the project, students did their presentation where they developed very good communication skills that was also used at formative assessment. I'm going to put very quickly one minute a student testimony, Denise Burgos. This plant irrigation project gave me and the rest of the students in my class the opportunity to learn and combine all the new technologies and see the result at a real project. We basically learned how to develop web pages where we could switch on and off lights and get data from sensors connecting to Arduino or Raspberry Pi. And then we upload this data to the cloud database and then we also create a mobile app to interact with this sensor and data. The good thing about this collaborative project at class is that we use the same environment that it is used at the IT companies. It was very helpful for us working this way. Okay, so this is my last slide. This experience gave us a great knowledge to students and also to teachers to start new projects. In the last year, we, we did two video game projects between primary education students and vocational education. But we use the same collaborative tools. We use the same methodology, project-based learning. And also, in, with more value, we, 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 we encourage STEM girls at early age, at early years, as it was with, also with primary school students. Um, we also did a great job of pet orientation as we work together, students from uh, vocational and primary. It was a, a way of showing them what vocational education is in a real project. Uh, thanks uh, a lot to, as I, as I told you, gracias to give us this great opportunity to show what, what we did in this very interesting Embed Zero project. So thanks for your attention. Uh, we go back with Jolene. Thank you.